This is an experiment to demonstrate the principle of the conservation of angular momentum. And this is the same effect that causes a skater to speed up as they pull in their arms. So what I've done, I've constructed a small tower here out of constructs. And it has two arms and they're weighted down with some uh, mouse balls. And what happens when I spin this, spin this up, the arms will go out, but I've got it arranged so I can pull on this string to pull in the arms to reduce the uh, radius of this thing that's spinning. And you'll see that it starts spinning very much faster as I pull it in. So let's try it out. Okay, so we've got that spinning there. So okay, let's pull it in. I'll let it go back out again. Pull it in. Let's try that again. Okay, so let's pull it in. Let it go back out again. Slows down. Pull it back in. Yeah, let's try it one more time. Yeah, it's spinning nice and smooth. Very fast. There you go. Conservation of angular momentum. We're gone. Which way they're spinning, we can get set up which way we are spinning. wrong. We can All right, so I'm going to get the, hmm. well, we get the weights spinning, we can spinning here. We can stop them from spinning and reverse their spin so we can store data More or less them, evenly, really cool. like that. So that's about a five inch. I'm going to spin there for a little bit. What about and then I'm pull it storing tight. energy in spin tronics okay. in that electronic Let's try that again. around the atom? Obviously, we can set <clears> it up. We can do three trials here. Like all experiments, we take at least three trials. Okay, so. Oops. Turn it so off, that broke. When we try and do All right, let's do huge again energy here. storage like I'm kinetic wheels. So so magnetic variance. Get that spinning up there. Stabilize. Scale problem. They started looking yes. at the spin okay. points. And you know no, what? Not quite stable. Mother Nature's already worked out the magnetic barren frictionless yeah. yeah. frictionlessness tight. of these electrons spinning around these atoms. All right. Hmm. So it's a let's done deal. All we have to do is set up so many layers. Where one of them is our, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine each frame of that of that spin, movie um, and figure out exactly what the RPMs uh, I'm generating here are. And they actually did it in the okay. laboratory. They set it up and right. they... Okay, now we're going to do a different experiment on angular momentum. Now I've eliminated basically all the mechanism. I'm just going to swing this weight around on a string. And then I'm going to just pull this thing, let's pull this string to a known length here, which is about a foot. Get that marked right there. Okay, so we're going to swing it around, get it nice and stable. Okay, and we're going to pull it into the one. Okay, now I've just, I just pulled it in to reduce the radius by half. So let's try that again. Okay, I'm just going to pull it in. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, so that should have given us a pretty good measure. Here is a device that was sent up by my Korean friend So Yun Yi for the Korean demonstrations. And as you can see, it has two masses on springs held to the outsides of this tube. And when I pull this small pin that's on this uh, device, it will release the uh, spring, release the string, and allow those masses to come closer to the center. So as you can see, when the masses came closer to the center, its angular velocity increased in order to, to conserve the angular momentum.